the number underneath the cab. And the most important part, I would say, besides just making the number look refined and accurate, one very important part of putting the number underneath the cab is that if the paint scheme calls for it, you want to have the number be centered under the cab, which 9 out of 10 paint schemes do call for the number to be centered under the cab. So, uh, let's just make this be engine number, since they're in the 800 series. Let's just have it be number 8 0 Now, I'm going to give you a little challenge. Let's just do this as a challenge. Let's have it be 808. And one thing that's a little bit of a challenge in numbers, and it happens in the lettering too, is that if you have two of the same number, one thing that especially in numbers that your mind and eye catches is that if there are two of the same number, it's important to try to make both numbers be as close to each other as you can because your eye will catch if one's wider or taller or narrower. Your eye catches that really pretty quickly. And so try to kind of refine both eights so that they stand out because again that gives it the machined look. But as you start to look at it, you go, well, a human definitely did it. And as you look at this is very well centered underneath both of the, the side windows. So that's pretty good. Now we're going to do the Florida East Coast Palm Tree and Sun logo. And this is something where just hours and hours and years and years of practice. So this is actually something where really all I recommend to you is just gesture into this. Look at the logo. I almost recommend to you, even compared to if you're looking at a photo, I recommend to you try to like call up like on Google or somewhere like that. Well, you probably might be looking at the engine anyways on, on Google or anywhere. But try to actually call up the logo itself so that you can actually see the logo because that way you can look at the actual detail of and sometimes you'll actually somebody will have taken a photo of the logo where they've actually really gotten a nice close-up and you won't have to do that but But it's very helpful. And if, if you can't believe me, do you know how long it took before I could even begin to get anywhere close to all that I'm really being able to do here is just put little hints of the letters here and little hints of the palm tree. So the more you can put hints of the palm tree and hints of the sun and hints of the sea, it just makes it so that it looks like that there's the Florida East Coast logo there. And that's just all you really are trying to do. And then just put the number in the number board. And again, this is another area where just, you know, just kind of try to give a hint of it. And there's the 808, you know, and if you can make the two eights, Looks similar, that's great. And then that's basically the lettering of the Florida East Coast.